Hello, this is Ian Scales from Telecom TV, and today I'm 20 kilometres south of Paris at val This is where Alcatel Lucent has its Bell Labs open day, and I'm going to spend the day looking around and seeing what they've got coming up. Bell Labs France is all about research and development. So if you want to get a feel for what's coming up in telecoms and networking, you could do worse than come to an open day here. So that's what we did. All that blue sky thinking is hard work and needs a bit of stimulus sometimes. So researchers can come here to the creative lab to do some out of the box thinking and collaboration. But what about some real meaty research, the fundamentals? This demo, for instance, showed how Bell Labs France is approaching the next transmission barrier of 100 gigabits per second and beyond. I asked Sebastian Bigo, Director, Optical Networking Department, Bell Labs France, how they could reach such mind-blowing throughput. Today, uh, optical systems work at 10 gigabit. And the way uh, we uh, apply information on light is just very simple. It's light, no light. If you have a pulse, it's a one. If you have no pulse, it's a zero. So when you detect light, you just use the only device that we know that is sensitive to light, which is a photodiode. And when you have light, no light in front of a photodiode, you get current, no current. And that's just a very, uh, very simple way of manipulating light. When we want to go to um, 100 gigabit, we'd like to explore, to exploit uh, some uh, other properties of light, especially the phase. We would like to be able to use four phase states along two polarization. That means that we will have uh, not, we'll have four, uh, 50 gigabit along each of these polarizations. And uh, in each of these polarization, we'll have four phase states. This means that at each of these phase states, we'll be able to allocate not just one bit with light, no light, but two bits. That will be zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Which of course gives you four bits on each symbol. Much the same technique as was used to ramp up the speed of modems in the 90s and 80s. Coming up the stack, Bell Labs is also working with network protocols. The future will be all about interworking femto and Wi-Fi networks with cellular networks. And this demo showed how a protocol called NMIP could hand off across and between different types of small cell networks and the main network, such as femto and Wi-Fi, essentially using just a server in the network and clients in the handsets. It uh, takes the complexity from the network, so you don't have any other additional infrastructure in the network that will help this mobility. So the mobility is handled end-to-end, -end, and then uh, this way the core network can be as simple as possible. I asked what problem was being solved with the small cell network. So we, we see small cell today as being something important for operators in order to increase the capacity of the networks. This is something that we see with the FEMTO and that will go outdoor with small cells. What we want to do with the ultra flat uh, network is to be able to add new type of overlays of network with smaller cells, uh, but uh, that would be able to discuss together with the applications, ensuring mobility uh, with a kind of new protocol, which is called NMIP. So there you have it. That was a day well spent at Bell Labs, south of Paris. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Goodbye.